Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I wanted to talk about Dungeons and & Dragons and the movie Red One. Um, yeah, and the film Red One, which is a brand new Christmas action film um, that is starring um, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, J.K. Simmons, Chris Evans, and Lucy Liu. And Nick Kroll's in there. And there's a few other cool, you know, nice, nice surprises in there, but that, that, those are the big hitters, right? Um, and what I want to ask today is, is this movie worth a dungeon master seeing it to make their dungeon mastering better? All right. So first of all, um, for this is the first time I'm going to do this, but I'm going to employ a five star system, right? And then I'll give it the number of stars that it deserves, um, among, uh, from the specific perspective of if a dungeon master should see it and then you based on the number of stars can decide how many stars a movie should have before you see it now i will say this if 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 something has one star you should not see it or zero stars you should definitely not see it if it has two stars you may elect to go see it but you've done been warned if it has three stars you could you know um you probably should go see it. If it has four stars, you definitely should go see it. And if it has five stars, you absolutely have to see it. So let's dig in. All right. So first of all, the first star is narrative. Okay. Did this story have a good narrative? Yes. Extremely good narrative. If you write narrative stories for your Dungeons & Dragons uh, campaign with the same level of quality, the same level of um, does it fit? Does it make sense? Does it make sense? Does it make sense? You know... We shouldn't even have to ask this, right? Like, a writer, anybody who's writing has a college degree, maybe two or three. These movies should make sense, right? Um, but shockingly, often, um, you walk out of a Hollywood movie and you're like, what was happening there? Like, what was going on? You know, like, this made complete logical sense. It was consistent. It was logical. It was exciting. Um, it was a good narrative. The narrative held together. The pace was correct. This was an excellent film from a narrative perspective. All right, next, world building. By the way, there will be spoilers in this for uh, Red One. All right, starting now. Uh, all right, so um, world building. Fantastic world building. The North Pole was spectacular. It was really envisioned as a metropolis, right? Like where Santa lives is not like a little village. It's a major city. Um, and with, uh, with you know, it really is a major city, right? Uh, with a protective dome. And um, what I thought were particularly well done were the, uh, the reindeer. The reindeer were very big. They were very powerful. They were very fast. Um, and, and there was also a lot of Christmas spirit, right? Like, J.K. Uh, and I, there was a lot of Christmas spirit from the operation itself. The other thing I thought they did was they did a really fantastic job of looking at Christmas from different perspectives uh, all over the world. Right. So it was, it, and it was, it was consistent. And again, consistent, logical, things fit together. Uh, could they have done a better job? Yeah, they could have done a better job, but only slightly. Right, maybe ten percent margin. But this is really, really well done. Fantastic world building here, okay? So two stars so far out of five. All right. Um, was this made from, um, was this uh, fair play? Was this made with fair play? Now, what do I mean by this? Um, that's a really good question. Again, we shouldn't even have to think about this. This is such a ridiculous, um, like, it's, it's Hollywood. Hollywood just so often they're just so terrible at what they do. So a perfect example of these would be any DC movie, right? Joker Folia do perfect. Joker Folia do is a perfect example, right? Um, the fans came out, they watched uh, Todd Phillips film and uh, they were like, hey, this is awesome, man. I'm going to see it. I'm going to see it again. I'm going to see it again. And here's a million for you. And you're the, you're only, and you're the first comic book movie ever. The first DC comic book movie no, actually, I think uh, Aquaman. You're one of the few DC films that have made a billion, right? And it was a big deal. You know, so then for Joker 2, uh, Top Films was like, hey, all you guys who came to see my movie and then saw it again and saw it again, I'm going to spit in your face and I hate you. 
and I despise the fact that you came to see my film. That's not logical. That's not fair play. That's not making a movie with fair play. All right, so we're the people who are making this actually trying to make a good Christmas movie. Well, I'm only going to give a half star here. And the reason why is Christmas is about Jesus. They don't mention Jesus at all in this. So this is a pure Santa Claus, candy cane, uh, you know, down the chimney, uh, you know, fake Christmas film, right? And, and I think, you, you, come on, you could have mentioned Jesus in there, right? This is Christ's birthday, right? So I'm only giving you a half star. Two and a half out of three stars so far, right? Um, so narrative, world building. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then, um, and then was the movie made with fair play, right? And next is visual style, right? So did the film have a visual style? And I've been thinking a lot about this. And we employ a visual style for how we, how we participate in Dungeon Mastery. Each Dungeon Master has a visual style. And you're like, wait a second, Scott, is it even visual? Yeah, it really is. I know this is kind of unusual, right? And I know it, it seems odd to say that there is a visual style for, um, you know, for a for a Dungeon Master, for a Dungeons and Dragons campaign, but there really is. Was there a digital, uh, a digital, uh, a visual style for this film? There was. It was, in, the only problem though was it was, it was only employed um, at the North Pole and, a, and at a few points when um, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's character would travel. There's some really cool aspects of this where um, they would travel through toy stores that and basically the back stock room of any toy store toy room could connect to any other toy room in the world and they could just open it up and there was like this portal that they would walk through and it was cool it was very cool by the way everything done in santa's village you know like the the north pole uh, santa home was fantastic that was all absolutely top you know chef's kiss top notch really really good um the other thing is um Santa himself and his protector. Um, so basically, Santa's bodyguard, um, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, visual style there was perfect. It was really, really well done. So there was a really nice visual style. I'll give a full star there. So we're three and a half out of four stars. Um, and then last is Catalyst. Was there, So I just went through four different you know things that all directly relate to a Dungeon Master. The last one is Catalyst, right? And, th and this is, was there something extra there? Was there something special there, right? Um, and the reality is there was. What was the really special Catalyst in this movie? What was the reagent that made all the other ingredients really pop, explode, and spark, right? And that was Krampus. Krampus was in this movie. And Krampus was done better here than I've ever seen Krampus done before. So one, Krampus, it, it is, I don't know if it's like Swedish or Norwegian, one of those places or some other nation like it, right? But Krampus is essentially, hey, what if uh, St. Nicholas was the devil, right? Like, and I'm, you're like, what? <laughs> what now? All right, like, and it's always weird and it's always done really kind of strange. But in this film, they did a fantastic job with it. They made him... St. Nicholas's brother, right? And while St. Nicholas wanted to reward, and there was a symmetry here, while St. Nicholas wanted to reward all the good kids, Krampus wanted to punish all the bad kids, right? Uh, everybody on the naughty list. Um, and, and also, the way they handled, by the way, uh, world building, um, the naughty list was fantastic. Really, really good. It was very well done, very well handled, and, and a, a major part of the film. Um, so, from a Dungeon Master's perspective, and so full star for, <coughs> excuse me, um, for Catalyst. Uh, and honestly, I really think Krampus was probably the best thing in the whole movie. And nothing was bad. Uh, this, this is extremely well done. Um, and so that means it's a 4.5 um, Dungeon Master stars out of, 4.5 Dungeon Master stars out of 5 Dungeon Master stars. And that means you should go. You should absolutely go. In fact, that means you should go more than once. I would see this by yourself, take notes, and then I would take others who uh, would love a Christmas action film. So um, is Red One for Dungeon Masters? The answer is yes. 
yes, it's absolutely a, a film that Dungeon Master should see to improve their dungeon mastering and do a better job of building their Dungeons & Dragons campaign world. Every single word you just heard is my humble opinion on uh, Dungeons & Dragons and on Red One. Uh, nothing more, nothing less. The important part is when I get to hear your humble opinion when you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider like subscribing and have a fetch millennium.